Well, the district school board approved the plan. It combines Colerain and Northwest High School at the current Colerain location. Now, the two middle schools would be built would be built for Colerain and Pleasant Run. Now, lastly, it says that there would be a new Colerain Elementary School as seen here. Now, it's important to remember these changes are not over or coming in the coming year. Voters play a really big role in funding this. Northwest Local School District Superintendent says it's time to plan for the future. With nearly 100-year-old buildings and lots of costly repairs, the Board of Education has come to a conclusion to start fresh. I want our community to understand that this is a plan that we have built for the long-term um, sustainability of the district based on the needs of the district, the financial stability of the district. He says the board will need to ask the community to vote on a bond issue to fund the plan. The district will work with the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission to approve the facility's master plan and to maximize state dollars. Are we looking at a year, two years? It's hard to say. It really depends on the state, which they are a wild card and unpredictable, and so timing is not always easy to nail down. Um, and then it's really about when the timing is right for the board to consider going to the voters. One of the biggest concerns is combining the high schools. Colerain has more than 1,700 students and Northwest has just under 900. Yader says the benefit is having all the programming under one roof. We maintain our teacher-student ratios, so class sizes are not going to change. The number of classrooms in a building will, and so it will be a larger building. But the plan has some parents worried about the future. Mom Cheryl Cooper says she'd pull her junior from the district if she had more school years left. They need a lot more work done into the focus on the children and how it can benefit the children, not just be a building. Once they have that, I would be comfortable. But if it was to happen next year, I would not be comfortable sending my daughter. She's concerned how kids would get to school. The district doesn't have a bus program for the high school, and there's no plan to add one. We currently do not have any plans around high school transportation. It has been something that we've talked about, we've looked into, but it is an increase in our operational costs. As for merging the high school's athletics, Superintendent Yader says there are no clear answers yet. The facilities would be large enough for 2,500 students. He says parents should keep an eye out for future input opportunities. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.